Hello and welcome everyone to my very first devlog for a game that isn't my dream game. It does however have programmable robots and I'm super excited to be working on it. But what is this not dream game about then you might ask? Well it's an RPG inspired pixel art game with a focus on puzzles, exploration, discovery and helping out your neighbors. And you'll be able to program robots, so that's cool. So why isn't this my dream game? Well, I honestly don't think that I have one single dream game. I have tons of ideas for games and I get new ones each day. And a huge part of game development really is about managing the scope of your project and trying not to have too much feature creep. But I really am super excited for this project. And it takes inspiration from the old Zelda games, Fallout, Stardew Valley and similar games. And most of all, it's inspired by my own robot building hobby. Meet Calcifer, a robot I made with my husband for a competition in 2020. Not only is my game heavily inspired by this, but I'm also using actual code for the game that I wrote for this robot and the previous one we made. The first pieces of code that I've reused is for how the robots control what actions to execute next. But we also made a simple scripting language and a parser for it that I'll probably also use in the game later on. At first when you look at the game you might think that I just started working on this last week and slapped some code together to get some stuff to move. But I actually worked on this project regularly for about three and a half months now. I'm making it using C++ and SFML and I have mainly been focused on implementing, testing and revising the most important systems for the game. I've also focused on making these systems very flexible, so it's easier to scale and add more features later. So now I've shown you my game idea and where the inspiration for it comes from. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this idea, or if you have any questions or suggestions for the game. I plan to post more devlogs on a somewhat regularly basis and I'm also considering making some tutorials on how to make a game like this using C++ and SFML. So if you would like more content like this, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And that's all from me right now, I hope to see you soon.